What's going on DC fans? My name is j -Roy. I'm probably like one of the biggest DC fans you will ever find. My channel is strictly DC most of the time. I cover anything that's from DC Comics, whether it's from movies, video games, comics, news, rumors, easter eggs. I talk about it all the time. Today we have a very special video. Today we're going to do a reaction and review. This is basically where I give off my reaction and then near the end of the episode I give off my review. Today we are dealing with Legends of Tomorrow. Last week's episode was amazing. This week it's going to be better because we are entering 2046 Star City where we're going to see Connor Hawk and also a very old Oliver Queen. Now if you haven't seen the episode I recommend you check it out before you watch this because I will We'll be showing you spoilers. So no further ado, let's just jump right into this episode. Connor Hawk means business, people. He means business. Get back to the ship, boys. Rip, you have no choice. Let the women go. There you go. What's up with Jax? Is he jealous or something? She just lost her loved one. Doesn't mean I don't find your. Oh my God, are they flirting? This is no time to flirt, people. Really, Heatwave has become the ladies' man now, and now he's the leader. All right. Oh snap! It's not possible. Oh, oh, oh is that Ravager or is that Deathstroke? I'm, we're gonna find out right now. <laughs> How do you know my father? Oh, it is! It, it is Ravager. Yes. In relation to the. It's nice to see that you know Captain Cold is actually getting some kind of like heroism in him. I like it. Because, you know, down the line, he does become part of the Justice League in the New 52. Holy crap! He's old as hell! And he lost his arm! If he lost his arm from Superman, if they use that, I'm gonna freak out. Oh my god, he looks old. I knew it! I called it! I said he was Diggle's son! On Twitter! Oh, I called it! Oh, snap! Ray, you slick devil. You know, what about. I like how, like, the world is about to end and all this. And, like, Jackson, Ray are just, like, having, like, this love interest. It's like, why? Woo! Things are getting heated with these two. But I like how, you know, Captain Cole is going on the good side. I do like that. Kill me. I do like his voice. His voice is really like Manu Bennett's distract uh Destro. Oh man, this episode is good. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is just a little bit awkward. I think my life's complicated enough. Yeah. I call this. I'm like, what is their problem? Like wait till the world is safe, then maybe go for it. Man, where are they gonna go? I'm gonna take a guess. I think they're gonna go to like the BC era. The like you know, ten thousand BC era. It could be a big possibility. I don't know yet, guys. All right, guys. Now, this is where I do my review. Let's start with the love scenes because, you know, everybody likes to talk about the love. We kind of had a tripod thing going on between, you know, Ray Palmer, Jax, and then Kendra in the middle. I called it from the beginning saying that there is no way this woman will have enough time to date one of them. She just lost her loved one. The world's going crazy. She almost died. And these two are not being professional. But it's overall funny. And I think Kendra said the point where... She's just not interested. You know, and then she also had another love. My boy Cisco got the, the cold shoulder, all right? That's the worst one ever. Hey, right, that's just rude. Who put you up to this? Next up I want to talk about is Captain Cold and Heat Wave having some kind of friction. They're not on the same page like they usually are. Usually, they just want to score anything. And it was starting off like that, which I did like, because that's just usually how they are. Always in the comics, they just don't care about anything else but themselves and money. But in this one, you see Captain Cold, like becoming a little bit heroism in, in a way and I like that because in the New 52 comics we're kind of like uh, Lex Luthor's assistant in a way but he's also a bodyguard uh, for Lex Luthor and he becomes quite of like a nice guy and this one I'm seeing a little bit in that in this show and I like that because I kind of like seeing Captain Cold as a hero more than the villain that's just me next thing I do want to talk about is Connor Hawk I called it people I called it on Twitter and I was like Connor Hawk is gonna be the son of Diggle everyone's like nope you're wrong it's gonna be Oliver's son from a different woman I'm like no trust me Diggle has a big part on Arrow trust me it, it's gonna happen and what do you know he's actually the son of Diggle it doesn't say like how Diggle died I don't think I caught that on the show if they did say that but overall I think that's a great nice touch but because Oliver already has a son on Arrow which is William 
which like in the last episode, if you didn't see Arrow, there was a big thing that Oliver did for his son to make sure his son is safe. Oliver sending his son, William, uh, far away to the city. We don't know yet. We don't know where, but we won't be seeing William anytime soon. Now let's talk about Deathstroke, Grant Wilson, aka the first Ravenger. The actor who played this did a phenomenal job. I saw a little bit of Manu Bennett. If you guys don't know who Manu Bennett is, he's the person that played Deathstroke in the Arrow TV series. I saw like the voice in him a little bit. To me, it sounded just like Deathstroke, and, and I can appreciate that what they did to this character in this show. He did a phenomenal job. I did like how he just had that creepiness into him, just like how Slade does it on Arrow. His son did a good job on this episode. Now, the special guest of this episode was Oliver Queen. And the first time we get to see him, he's old. Like, he is wrinkled with a beard. And usually in the comics, Green Arrow does have a goatee. Which I do appreciate they did add it that. And also, how he lost his arm. They didn't really talk about it. I'm not sure if it was Grant Wilson that made him lose his arm. But in the comics, guys, in the Dark Knight Returns comics, Green Arrow gets his arm ripped off from Superman in the comics. My number one moment in this episode, guys, was Connor Hawk telling you know, Green Arrow that, you know, while you were hiding and I thought you were dead, I was protecting this city. That had a lot of emotion on it. I felt it and I loved it because like, you know, Oliver's always thinking that he has to have the weight on his shoulder, but he actually had help from one of his best friend's son. And that was a big moment for me, seeing that Diggle, even though he's dead, still had something to do with this storyline and I, I could dig that. Anyways guys, that is it for today's reaction and review. If you guys want to see more of me, make sure to leave a comment down below and let, let DC know that you want to see more of me and more of this on their channel. I don't mind doing that at all. If you guys want to check out my channel, the link to my channel will be in the description box. Let me know by checking out one of my videos and leave a comment down below saying that you came from the DC Fans channel and I'll make sure to give you guys a big hello and welcome to my channel. My question for you guys, what was your most favorite moment in this episode. My moment of course was just Connor Hawk and just having that you know his father to son kind of moment with Oliver. I thought that was a really good moment in this episode. My name is Jero and I am the best at what I do and that's giving you that one-two punch.